Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about how you can use React to build a Google Apps script-based web application. The project you're looking at here was built using React, Shad CN Component, and Tailwind CSS, and bundled together using Vite. This starter kit is free to use, and you can download it from my GitHub repository. I'll show you how to set this up from scratch. First, go to my GitHub repository. The link will be in the description below and download the project files. Then open them in your code editor. Visual Studio Code is a good choice. Next, we need to install the required packages. To follow along, make sure you have VS Code and Node.js installed on your system. You can download VS Code from code.visualstudio.com and node.js from nodejs.org, and I'll put both links in the description as well. Now let's install the packages. Open your terminal and run npm install. While the packages are installing, I'll go ahead and create a new Google Sheet and make a copy for our setup. Once your Google Sheet is open, go to Extensions and then App Script to open the script editor. Next, go to the Settings tab, find the script ID, and copy it. Then rename a file in your project to .clasp.json and paste the script ID we just copied into it. With all our packages installed, we're almost ready. If you're setting this up for the first time, you'll need to install Clasp, the command line tool for Google Apps Script. Run this command to install it globally. Then run Clasp login and follow the prompts to authorize the setup. Once that's done, we can deploy the project by running npm run deploy. This command will build the project from the source directory and output everything to the gas folder, which will then get pushed to Google Apps Script. You'll see which files were pushed to Apps Script in the terminal. Now go to the Apps Script editor. Refresh it and then click on Deploy followed by New Deployment. Give it a description like version 1 and hit Deploy. You'll be prompted to authorize. Go ahead and authorize it. Once deployment is complete, you'll receive a web app URL. Click on it to open your app in a new tab, and you should see it up and running. Let me quickly get the dev URL. You can get that from test deployments. This URL will always point to the latest code. If I click on the Home tab, it displays a table. Clicking on the Tasks tab shows the task table. 
populated with data from our Google Sheet. This means we've successfully fetched data from Google Sheets and displayed it in our React front-end using tables provided by the Shad CN Components Library. Let me demonstrate. If we go to Shad CN Components, you'll see that you can copy code directly from their site. For instance, the payments table here is just a copy paste from their examples, showing exactly what you see here in the app. Similarly, I've used the task table from their examples folder, made a few modifications, and displayed it here. Using Shad CN components allows for rapid development with a clean UI. This setup leverages the starter kit for fast project development. Let me show you one more thing about how this kit can streamline your workflow. In the SRC folder, there's a pages folder with preset pages like contact, home, profile, settings, and tasks. These pages map to the tabs you see here, tasks, settings, contact, dashboard, and profile. I've also created a script that allows you to add new pages quickly. For example, if I run npm run add page dashboard, it will automatically generate a new route named dashboard and create a file called dashboard.jsx with a basic setup. To see it live, I'll deploy this change. Let's refresh the app to see the dashboard page. Now you'll notice it appears in the tab list. To populate this dashboard page, let's add a chart from Shad CN Components. I'll go to the Charts section and find an example chart to copy. After pasting it into our dashboard.jsx file, I'll add the necessary components like chart and card. You can get the command here. Running this command will add the necessary components in the components folder. Since this code is written in TypeScript, I will also rename the file to dashboard.tsx. Now I will deploy it. Refreshing the page now, you can see the chart displayed on the dashboard tab, copied directly from Shad CN's library. Let me give you a quick overview of the project folder structure. First, we have the source, that's SRC source folder, which holds all the front end code. Inside this, there's a components folder containing various UI components used across the app pages. Next, we have the UI folder that contains components from Shad CN. Next, we have the hooks folder, which stores all the React hooks, and the lib folder, which contains utility functions. The pages folder includes different pages that are displayed on the front end, routed via the routes.js file. Moving on to the server folder contains all the app's script functions. You'll notice that each function here returns a promise, allowing us to use async, await, or dot, then, and dot catch blocks for handling asynchronous operations. The app.css file contains all the CSS for our app, while app.jsx is the main component that contains everything. Finally, main.jsx mounts the app into a div element with the ID root. The routes.jsx file defines all routes used to build the navbar, 
enabling navigation to the corresponding pages. Any app's script code we need to write goes into the GAS folder. Remember to create these files with a .js extension, as Clasp will convert them to .gs when they're pushed to the app's script project. That wraps up the folder structure. In upcoming videos, we'll go deeper into each section to make things even clearer. This shows how easily you can use the starter kit to build out your project. I'll be creating more projects based on this kit so you can develop along with me. Feel free to try this starter kit, and if you encounter any issues, leave a comment. Also, please remember to star my repository if you find it useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, where we'll dive into more complex builds with this starter kit.